anybody who's biking past can just go past with ease or walking past. Um, <laughs> welcome to our first artist talk for our Art Path series this year. My name is Sabrina Stevens. I'm the Education Coordinator at the Lazy Art Gallery and Education Center. Today with me, I have our gallery coordinator, Sarah Park. Sarah Hopkins, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> and my education intern, Levi. Um, and I want to welcome any board members who are in attendance today. The Lansing Art Gallery and Education Center is a nonprofit organization that has been a staple in the Lansing community for over 50 years and has been a leader in public art for the last 14 years. Art Path is in its sixth year this year and is one of those public art programs. Art Path is the result of the hard work of Katrina Daniels, our exhibitions director, and Emily Stevens of the City of Lansing Parks and Recreation Department. Uh, we would like to give a special thanks to our um, Art Path sponsor for the year, MSU Desk Drawer Fund, as well as those who contributed to our success of Art Path last year. So now I'll turn the mic over to Jessica and Zach. Ah. <laughs> so that's probably going to happen throughout this. Get used to that. Um, welcome. Thank you so much for coming out and supporting. It's so fun to see all your faces under this bridge along the Lansing River Trail. Um, I'm Zach, this is my mother Jessica. Before we get started, we thought we'd do a quick land acknowledgement. Um, so, apologies, but I'm gonna read off my phone. Uh, we acknowledge that where we are standing occupies the ancestral, traditional, and contemporary lands of the Anishinaabe Three Fires Confederacy of Ojibwe, Ottawa, and Potawatomi peoples. In particular, this mural resides on land seated in the 1819 Treaty of Saginaw. Um, so, welcome to Art Path 6 sixth year. Um, we are both so grateful to be a part of this. Um, we'll talk a little bit as to why that is and the special connection it has to our hearts and souls. Um, first off, it's just so cool to see you all here and you get to see it, the half done version of our mural. You will contribute to the second half. Um, and I'll hand it to my mom for her own intro. Thank you so much. Thank you. Probably interacted with her one way or another. So um, 
I have a feeling a lot of you are here because of her, which is really special. Uh, we also would like to talk a bit about ourselves as artists. Also, the Lansing Art Gallery would like us to, and we would love to share our experiences as artists. Uh, so, a little bit about me, it's the only connection to my grandma. My mom had her Friday play days. Um, when I was in college, I went to Michigan State just down the road. Um, I kind of developed my own version of Friday play days where I would go over to my grandma's and usually I would make her hamburgers and do the similar thing my mom said of the laundry or the flowers or um, at a certain point she told me I had to stop going out to the bars on Thursday nights though because I was a really bad worker. Uh, so she, she told me Rick's was off limit on Thursday nights um, more than once. Uh, but we had a really, really special time. Those were some really fond memories. And we would off also go explore Lansing and do our shopping or just go get ice cream or whatever it may be. Um, a big part of it was also art and music. Um, it's a thing we both shared love in. Um, every time I would go on Fridays, I would play music for her. Um, I'd try out new songs I'd been learning, new songs I'd written. She'd give me her real honest, raw feedback, which she could really whip it out and make you feel something. Uh, she told me if my words didn't make any sense, or if I needed to sing louder, or if her toe wasn't tapping hard enough, but usually it was. Um, and she also really loved my passion for art. Um, she was an artist too. She was always doing crafts and knitting. And, um, one cool thing, so maybe getting into my experience as an artist, um, as of more lately, um, I've been getting into uh, graphic design, which is actually how the proposal here, which you'll see probably seen around, um, was created. I made it on an iPad. Um, on an app called Procreate, which is an amazing app you can do some really cool stuff on. Um, and it wasn't until my grandma passed away that I actually got my first iPad, which was her old iPad that she mostly played solitaire on and took pictures of her dog with, with her finger in front of the camera. Um, but then I acquired it and I kind of kicked off the graphic design passion of mine. So I love to kind of make that connection to you know, she passed that on to me, and it's kind of really kicked off something for myself, which has been really special. Um, so, as an artist, I'm doing a lot. Actually, I was going to make my mom describe what type of artist I am, because I think that's more fun. And I'll describe her, so I'll hand it back. <laughs> Zach and I um, love collaborating, and we're very different types of artists, which is, probably makes it even more fun. So Zach's like, Mom, what type of artist am I on? Me, Arctic. <laughs> doesn't want to worry about what's the meaning behind his art. He wants it to be intuitive. He likes bright, bold lines and not a lot of texture. And um, <laughs> and he's actually a very, very good artist. Okay. Are you really describing me? Or what do you want me to go from there? My, um, you know, it, it's interesting. So I grew up, as I said, on the west side, going to Saxon High School. And I wanted to go to art school, and my mom said, no way. She was a single mom, and said, you'll be able to support yourself the whole way. And I don't know why parent has the power to say no way, <laughs> you listen. But um, so I went on and eventually got my doctorate in adult education. And then, uh, while always dabbling in the arts. And I had a cousin die unexpectedly at the age of 28, right after I had accepted a full-time faculty position. And I was on the way to the airport in Detroit and just thought, life, life's too short. Life's too short to not follow your passion. I called Jeff, my husband is standing right over here, and from the Detroit airport and said, if I turn down that position I've already accepted and try to be a full-time artist, will you still love me? And he said, do you know how happy you are as an artist when you're painting? And I from that phone call, which he doesn't remember. <laughs> it's the funniest part of the story. Um, and I turned down the position from the Detroit airport and flew to my cousin's funeral. Um, so I call it Max's gift. And that happened, what did we do, 14 years ago, 14 years ago. So um, that that's my path, I, you know, it's, um, and when I was a sextant, I spent my senior year in the attic. If you know the high school, that's where the art was. And um, did art all day long. And then years later, we met my art teacher in a workshop, Mark Mahaffey. And Mark looked at me and said, I always knew you were an artist. And that's the beginning.
do you want to share a little bit about, a bit about what you're doing now? I am a mixed media, thank you. I'm a mixed media artist. I am a painter, and um, I have, and I'm an educator, so I teach workshops. I, um, and I'm a slight bit eclectic because I'm also painting murals, but in general, I have uh, paintings and galleries. Lansing Art Gallery being one of them. And I'll give a brief description of some of the work my mom's doing as well. You probably have seen a lot of her work. She's uh, all over the state and other states as well. Um, like in the way that I am quick and intuitive in my work, my mom can be drawn out and very thoughtful and contemplative. Um, so she, her work can span over years, months, um, and it's really the power of her work. It's very thoughtful. It's, it's based in research. Um, I just went and saw uh, a collection she has up in Glen Arbor right now, uh, all around uh, climate change and the impact it has on bird species in Michigan. Um, and going and seeing it on the walls, to me, was just the prime example of the way she creates. She can't just create off of, let me just do something pretty. There has to be a deeper meaning. It has to change the world. It has to be for the betterment of the world, because that's who she is. Um, and a prime example of how deep she can go in these thought processes. I'm going to pause for a sec because we have a motorcycle crusade. Very cool. <laughs> um, she, in one of her pieces, uh, the collection is entitled Silent Spring, based off of the book from the 70s. Uh, 62, the year my mother was born. Uh, all around how climate change has impacted uh, the way we hear birds in the springtime and what you notice and what you don't hear. Um, and so in the background of one of my mom's paintings, she wrote by hand a summary of each chapter of Silent Spring to be the background of her painting. Uh, so just an example of how my mom does art versus, oh, sometimes I do art. Uh, yeah. So, conceptually speaking, let's talk about this. Uh, this is love is love is love is love is love is love. Uh, it comes from, was, it, was inspired by a speech that Lin-Manuel Miranda gave at the 2017 Tony Awards. Um, it was just a few days after the tragic shooting at a nightclub in Orlando. Um, and he gave this empowering speech about love and unity and the power of music and art. Um, and so this carries on through here, uh, and, and it carries on through the way that we think about Lansing um, and the power that art can have uh, to bring community together in Lansing. Uh, my grandma, as we said, actually I don't know if we said, um, was a teacher. Emily Ziff Trumbull is my grandmother's name. <laughs> she was a teacher in the Lansing schools for over 40 years, taught at a number of middle schools and elementary schools. Um, and she was... Uh, someone that brought everyone together and taught all students the same and loved everybody equally. Um, and she really loved this place and the people that were um, part of it. And I think you all know that. I'm looking at Susan over here, who was one of her interns in her classroom. Um, just a few days, just a few years ago. Just a few. Just a few. <laughs> um, and thinking about the way that she brought community and togetherness into this city, um, we wanted to kind of show that through this piece as well. Um, the second half of that is the community component, which hopefully you all are willing to participate in. Um, am I going too fast? Is there anything for that? Okay. Um, so as you'll see, as you might have seen on the mock-up, the purple face here shouldn't be blank. It should be written with a bunch of words. Um, so we had the idea of bringing the community together to help us out with our mural, because things are better when the collective comes together. Um, so, Oh yeah, we also wanted to open it up if you all have any questions for us. Um, so we'll get the prompt after that. Um, one more thing I just remembered is O'Leary Paints, um, who my mom went to school with Dave O'Leary, um, a local paint business in the, in the area. And I went to school with Jacob O'Leary, very connected, howdy. Uh, they donated these paints to us to be able to do this mural. So big shout out to Olivia Paints. Um, big love for them. They're wonderful people. Go support their business. Um, yeah. So open it up for any questions from any of y'all. If you have any. How do you spell foo foo? <laughs> that, why is it? Why is that? That's a very relevant question, Susan. 
Foo Foo. Well, I actually don't know how you spell Foo Foo. <laughs> you know how sometimes grandmas don't, can't always find the exact word to say? That was the word that my grandma said when no words came to mind. So everything was Foo Foo. I would say F O O dash F O O. But I'm open. O? It's most likely P H. <laughs> What's your favorite part of working together? <laughs> oh my gosh. You, I mean, well, oh, the question was what was our favorite part of working together? What is our favorite part? I mean, can this get better? Really, right? To, do, to be able to spend a week with your son painting, I, that, it's been happen. So that's it for me. I'll say that. To share passion and just have fun. We, um, I didn't think I had. You want to add anything? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I see my mother as my mother most often, as I should. Um, but it's when we're working together that I really get to see her expertise shine through. Like, she is a pro, and that's when I remember that. <laughs> I feel like I'm still a beginner in this world. Um, so I'll create pieces, and I'll be like, I like it. And she'll be like, oh, I like it too, but could add this, 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 and then it's complete. And those are the moments where I'm like, I'm so lucky that I have you as my mom and in my life. Just last night, we stayed up late and she was talking to me about the elements and the principles of design. And I was like, wow, you're a teacher too. I just, people pay for this. <laughs> that and we have a really fun time. It's really easy, somehow. Most people too are like, that must be a challenge. And like, it's actually the easiest type of art I do. Yeah, thanks for that question. Have you guys collaborated before on anything big like this? Or is this your first? Great question. The question was, have we collaborated on anything else like this before? Um, yes, we have. We've actually done a mural similar sort of to this at the Peppermint Creek Theater back when I was in high school. College. I was in college. Yeah. Um, my mom did a show based off the show they were putting on at the theater. Um, and had her whole collection around and we painted one of the walls. Um, we've done a mural at the Orchard, which my parents currently reside at, which has been fun, and as well as a few different pieces. Um, I do a lot of like kind of folk art illustration as well, so I have my fun cartoony version of what Farmer Jess and Farmer Jeff look like, and I create little worlds for them. Uh, and then, okay. <laughs> interesting question with regard to art actually because after my mom died it was really hard for me to paint I paint from my soul and that one I, I really didn't even want to touch and Zach came home he, we had this big huge canvas and I'm like he said can I just draw something on it and he drew this crazy scene with a black sharpie we painted it red mopped it painted Jeff and me and farmer Jeff and farmer Jess and birds flying over the whole works while we were eating dinner left it filling it and that was our first collaborative piece and um, that way as a painting and I looked at it later and said, why why does dad only have four fingers <laughs> and he's like farm accident <laughs> and then if you can see it we're running away from each other I'm like why are we looking at each other because I did like change the eyes to like I was looking as an artist would do because you want to keep the viewer in the painting and he's like, you guys are just too busy to even look at each other. <laughs> it was so funny. But um, each one of those says, we're going to do one more before he, we leave this time. So. Anything else? You need to post those somewhere so that people can see. Because I'm really curious to know what Farmer Jess and Farmer Jess are. <laughs> oh, it's just the beginning of Farmer Jess. Okay. <laughs> it's an ongoing. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, they're big. They're, they're big. Yeah. yeah, they're very big. Um, I can describe. Farmer Jeff wears a very big straw hat, and he does only have four fingers. Farmer Jess always have, has overalls on and a paintbrush in her hand, and those braid, pony tails, fresh braids. Yeah, that's the beginning. But yes, we would love to post that, and we'll, we'll make sure people can see it. Any other questions for people? Are you all ready to do some painting, slash writing, slash drawing? 
All right, I'm gonna read the prompt so I don't screw it up. All right, so my grandma always stressed the importance of positivity. When things were hard, she'd say, we're building memories. When things were great, she'd say, what a party. <laughs> In that voice. She said, what a party, if you didn't catch that. Um, so, we'd love you to use the purple part of this mural as a place to share those positive feelings you have for Lansing and to reflect on the people and places that have formed your love for this city. So, I'm going to say that one more time, just a second, back half of it, in case you missed it. Um, so, for the prompt of writing on the purple faces, and one little thing we missed, there's actually another little bonus mural down that way, which you might see looks very similar to this one. Sarah is pointing over there. Thank you, Sarah. Quick funny story. We accidentally thought that's where we were supposed to paint this mural. We were wrong. <laughs> so now we have two. Um, so if this fills up, don't worry. There's space for more. Um, but I will read this, the prompt one more quick time, and then we'll hand out markers and people can get to work. OK. Use the purple part of the mural as a place to share your positive feelings you have for Lansing and to reflect on the people and places that have formed your love for this city. Cool? Thank you. Awesome. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you.